the life of Martin Luther King Jr. This is made to celebrate not only Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but also the 90th anniversary of his birth. Martin Luther King Jr. is born Michael King on January 15, 1929 in the city of Atlanta in the state of Georgia. He may be born Michael King, but his father is also named Michael King. Um, honey, maybe it's a good idea now we should change his name so we don't make some any type of confusion. Yeah, we should. Let me think about it. But a few years later, in 1934, both of the Michael Kings had changed their names. The Michael King father has changed his names to to the later Reverend Martin Luther King Senor, and the son of Michael King had changed his name to the to what's now that we know and love today, Martin Luther King Jr. However, Martin Luther King Jr.'s parents don't have ancestry from the United States. Instead, their ancestry all the way came from all the way towards the continent of Africa. And not only that, but Martin Luther King Jr. had ancestry from Ireland. However, he is not the only child in the King family. Instead, he has an older sister named Christine King Ferris and a younger brother named A.D. King. Now viewers, if you're watching this, you're about to hear the fact that that you never really knew about. King mentioned later in his life that his father regularly whipped him until he is 15. When King was a child, he befriended a white boy, being that he and him became friends. And when they are six, the boys started going to school, as they first intended school. However, King attended a school for African Americans, while the white boy attended the school only for whites. Back then, schools are segregated. I'm sorry, laddie. We're such a kid. Well, I'm going to the African Americans one. Well, you're going to the one for whites. Okay. But, however, they had to see each other for the last time because of how the ch the white boy's father can't allow them to play with each, each other anymore. It's against the rules! However, things are about to get even worse. Throughout his life, King suffered from depression. When he is 12, his grandmother died. And King blamed himself and then decided to jump off of a two-story window. Well, this is the end of it. Goodbye, cool world. Okay. I saw the video. That, that, that's 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 suicide. Shortly after the end of World War II, in 1946, during his junior year, a bus driver approached him, saying that he should get off his seat so that a white passenger can have enough room to sit. King eventually refused and said that he'll be breaking the law if he did not submit. He mentioned later in his life that. The angriest I could ever been in my life. An outstanding student, he skipped both his freshman and senior years of high school. The incident could be very similar to the Rosa Parks incident back in 1955. On June 18, 1953, he married his wife, Carita Scott on the lawn of their parents' house in their hometown in Hillburger, Alabama. They became the father of four children. They are the following. 
Yours La King died 2007. Martin Luther King the Third, Dexter Stock King, and Bernice King. The famous thing about this fact is that on December first, nineteen fifty-five, Rosa Parks, a black schoolgirl, is arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man. I refused to give up my seat. This violated the Jim Crow laws. Police! Police! After the incident, he, along with his partner, E.B. Nixon, led the, the famous Montgomery bus boycott, in which it became so intense that his house got destructively bombed. It also became so tense that the court sentenced him to a few months in jail. He was arrested again a few years later in 1963 due to protesting the treatment of blacks in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, it is fine while it lasted. Due to a centennial signing of the opposition proclamation, success of the Birmingham campaign, and mass movements and domination throughout the United States, one of the most famous events in U.S. history occurred on August 28, 1963, known as the March of Washington, also known as the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, in which it is part of the Civil Rights Movement which 200,000 to 300,000 people participate, which was famous for speeches, I, for the speech, I Have a Dream, by Martin Luther King Jr. I'm happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. One day live in a nation where they will not be judged.
mountainside. Let freedom ring in America is to be a great nation. This must become true. And so let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the hiking Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. had officially done it. Lyndon B. Johnson, U.S. President at the time, after the death of John F. Kennedy, eventually passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Then a year later, he passed the Voting Rights Act, meaning to change it to the Constitution that they'll give African Americans and Blacks the right to vote. Personally, Martin Luther King Jr., for a long time, has been against the United States' involvement in the Vietnam War, a nearly 20-year-long conflict that was fought between the Communists in the North, backed up by the Soviet Union, Warsaw Pact, and China, and the anti-Communist U.S.-backed government in the South, backed by the United States and NATO. And, and I'm afraid it basically went like this. Make peace, make peace, make peace, make peace. No war in Vietnam. No war, no war, no war, no war in Vietnam. Now, we had to all remember the day and remember it forever in our hearts. On April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. went to Memphis, Tennessee in support of the Black Sanitary Public Works employees. He was there for a, at least a month until some moron had to come in here and then had to do this. <sighs> Martin Luther King Jr. was pronounced dead from the gunshot wound an hour later. He had been in our influence throughout the years and we will never forget his two of his most important speeches, the anti-Vietnam War speech in 1967 and his most famous one, I Have a Dream. His killer was named James Earl Ray. He was originally going to be sentenced 99 years in jail prior to the assassination, but since he was recaptured shortly after the assassination, he has now been sentenced to 100 years in jail. He died age 70 in 1998, 30 years into his imprisonment sentence. It was an absolute tragedy, a horrifying tragedy, and an extremely upsetting tragedy about someone who everyone had supported had to be shot. Martin Luther King Jr. Is, a, is the most influential person in the civil rights movement, and he will always be on our hearts and our memories. <laughs>